Yeah, it's amazing to, to win here, first time ride winner. I'll be back next year, I've had such a good time. I nearly didn't come and I'm so glad I did. I nearly didn't come because last week in a, in a race I broke my little toe. It's only my little toe, but it was actually really hurting this week. And I was like, ah, I don't need to go, you know, I've got a six week break after this and then I've got like a lot more racing. And I thought, I don't need to go and risk something, you know. But hey, uh, this week I was looking at the track and I was like, oh, I need to go. So I rang Matt and he was like, oh. So fitted me in and here we are. Going out in the final then, I knew I'd won the first one. So then going into the second one, obviously I had to win it and I felt more comfortable on the left lane. Even though the left lane was no different, I just felt a little bit more comfortable on there. So uh, Mitch kept me on my toes. I had to push hard and uh, yeah, he was on me the whole way. Yeah, coming here today, the, the journey's been difficult. The very first one, I had a bit of a mechanical, nearly didn't go through. So I think I went one, two, no, two, one, one. So I was lucky to, to come through the first final. So to get uh, to get here and get the win, I'm super happy. Yeah, the job that Billy and that's done is, uh, it's amazing, you know, it's so cool to bring something, because obviously we usually race in the middle of nowhere, miles from anywhere. So to come into the city where everyone can watch and see what's going on, uh, they've done such a good job. The crowd here in Newcastle has just been unbelievable. There's been so many people here that you literally cannot walk to the under, other end of the track. There's so many people everywhere. So. For the, thanks to them for coming out and supporting. Obviously, we had the weather, so that's just made it amazing. Yeah, I'll definitely be back next year. You know, Red Bull event. It's uh, it's amazing what Red Bull do for the sport in general. And uh, I've been with them now for about 12 years, so I'll definitely be back and I'll support them. You know, my my whole racing career. Red Bull Time Ride is the world's toughest urban motorcycle head-to-head, -head, which sounds a bit of a mouthful. You might not really fully understand, but to be honest, we don't really do. It's uh, it's a new concept. We've took kind of elements and aspects from various different action sports uh, the basis is, is obviously from enduro we're on enduro bikes mainly enduro riders we've got a couple of little wild cards and special entries thrown in there but yeah ultimately it just brings a lot of different motorcycling and action sports together um, put it in front of in the city in front of a big audience head-to-head -head racing it's uh, yeah action packed short form bursts of high adrenaline activity to be in Newcastle 
my home city, uh, such an epic location. You know, the river on one side, we've got the Tyne Bridge in the background. It's just a uh, match made in heaven. The main thing that makes it unique is just the scale of everything. You know, the, uh, the obstacles are literally just magnified and, and made bigger than we've ever seen them before in, uh, in enduro racing, in motorcycle racing in, in general. You know, we're like two shipping containers high in some places and jumping over the top of that. So yeah, there's places where we're like three stories up in the middle of a city with buildings just meters away. Like it's, the whole concept is just so unheard of and so unique. And I think that's really what is giving this event like such a wow factor. Charging through the course and riding it as fast as possible, which is the unique part, you know. So many obstacles in such quick succession is naturally like real high intensity for a rider's perspective. Um, so yeah, taking it time and one by one, the riders can pick off the features, not easily, but they can rel get through them relatively easily. But in a, in a, you know, in a head to head environment, going up against the guy alongside of you, that's when the, uh, the difficulty comes. To come to a race of this size, of this scale, in a city centre and just have such a relaxed feel for riders, yes, 100% there's still uh, there's still head to head action going on and there's, at the end of the day, we're motorbike racers. There's one, everyone wants to be the winner come this afternoon, but such a relaxed environment, the riders have been looked after so well. Um, and that was one of the key things that I wanted from this event. You know, I wanted riders to go home and this event be the first thing in their calendar for next year, just because they've enjoyed it and they've had such a good time being here. And uh, so far the feedback is that. Uh, it's been probably close to three years, I would say now, since the, uh, the idea and the possibility to do something in Newcastle and then uh, slowly went from there working out the best location what locations were possible and then as soon as i heard this location was possible i said it needs to be a head-to-head -head, almost straight rhythm style you know that the road's pretty straight you can have spectators down both sides you've got such an amazing backdrop um it just in my head it made no sense to do you know, anything else other than a head-to-head -head track and also we're in a city centre, you know, motorsport isn't typically super popular in Newcastle. You know, it is popular, we have a lot of, a big fan base, but for the, the average passerby, they don't know what's going on. Like, they, they're just coming for the Saturday afternoon walk and go, wow, what on earth is happening here? Um, so for the, the newcomer, the new eyes on the sport, the concept is pretty simple. You know, two guys start together, race, race to the end and come back, and the first guy back is the winner. So I think it's, it's in such a simple form, so easy to follow, and then at the same time, the lineup of riders that we have here is at such a high level. The the involved fan and the, the the guy who watches every week is excited to watch the race the races he's used to riding. And, and uh, from a head-to-head -head perspective, it's it's always going to be uh, it's always going to be tight. Our sport as a whole is relatively inaccessible for the you know your average person. We tend to race in the middle of nowhere. You got to hike up a mountain or you're getting covered in mud just to watch us race. Usually, so to to be here. Not a, no dirt, no water in sight. The weather gods have delivered. We've got a sunny day in Newcastle, which is probably one of a handful we're going to have this year. Um, and yeah, I think we've got such a good mix of crowd. There's a lot of people that have traveled that are, are used to watching and following us race. And there's a lot of people watching for the first time that are just pretty amazed with what, uh, what we can do on dirt bikes. So that's really the, uh, all boxes covered and, and exactly the, the kind of crowd that we wanted to get here. Hi, my name's Dougie Lampkin and I'm the course director at Red Bull Time Ride. I think the key points about this build is there's been so much planning that's come into it. We've had two test events to make it happen. Obviously, you can't just close the road out whenever you want it. And then the massive push was 48 hours to bring in 600 tonnes of dirt, God knows how many logs to make the matrixes, 23 shipping containers, two cranes, roll-on, roll-off skips. Uh, it's been an absolute mammoth task. We've had a fantastic team massively planned out first and uh, here we are all going good so far i think the logistical challenges are things that have not been done before and i mean in that we've got shipping containers on a 22 degree angle they don't make fittings for that they don't exist we've had to make them we've had to have them tested make sure they're safe make sure they pass our test we've had to test them to ride and everything and all this has gone on for months beforehand it doesn't just drop in like that yeah, we've got various different features on the course and they're taken from all sorts of different disciplines, from mountain biking, from motocross, from enduro, from trials. And we've brought them all together in a 200 metre each way course. And uh, we've all got our favourites amongst them. Mine's definitely the uh, containers. They took too much work to not to love them. But a lot of the boys are loving the massive jump at the end. 
we've got favourites in different disciplines here and that's managing that and how well they can compete on the others. It's amazing to see the difference in speed in some sections on this course and I think that's what's so unique about it and so great. I think the crowd are just mesmerised. We see these riders all the time and we're mesmerised so they definitely are. Yeah, I mean it's an amazing location where we are here. Obviously Billy Ball, world champion, local boy, riding at home on the main street right under the bridge absolute prime location could not be better logistical nightmare thanks billy for that but yeah what a place Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah.